This is the brand new Google Nexus 7 tablet, and in this video, we're going to go over the tablet's specs. So let's get to it. So the Google Nexus 7 is the newest tablet on the market. And the first thing you'll notice about it is that it's a 7-inch tablet. So it competes with the likes of the Nook and the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. But under the hood, it's just as powerful as the highest-end Android tablets on the market today. So as far as raw power goes, this tablet can go head-to-head -head with the iPad 3. Now, as I mentioned, it's a 7-inch screen, and that's always measured diagonally. It's an IPS LCD screen that has 1280 pixels by 800 pixels. So that gives you 216 pixels per inch. So you get a higher resolution on this screen than you do on the Kindle Fire or the Nook. It's LED backlit, and the glass on top is Gorilla Glass. Now, this device fits nicely in the hand, and it's pretty light. It measures 7.81 inches by 4.7 inches and 0.411 inches in depth. So what does that mean to people outside of the United States? It means that it's 198.5 millimeters in height, 120 millimeters in width, and 10.45 millimeters in depth. It's only 12 ounces, that means that it's 340 grams. It's running the latest and greatest Android, Android Jelly Bean, which is 4.1. And actually, after I fired it up for the first time today, it updated to 4.1.1. It's running an NVIDIA Tegra 3 chip, and that's a quad-core chip with a fifth companion core that takes care of mundane tasks when the tablet doesn't have to run on all four cores. So actually it has five cores. The four main cores are clocked at 1.2 gigahertz per core. And the Tegra 3 is an ARM Cortex-A9 chip. Now being that Tegra 3 is made by NVIDIA, you would expect it to have graphic capabilities. And this system on a chip, or the Tegra 3 chip, has 12 cores. The device has one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, and you have two options for storage. You either have an eight gigabyte version or a 16 gigabyte version of this device. Now this one happens to be the eight gigabyte version. It costs $199. After shipping and tax, I think this device cost me $223. The 16 gigabyte version retails for $249, and then you would add tax and shipping on top of that. The battery is non-user replaceable, so you can't get into the device, but the battery is 4,325 milliamps, and you charge it with the micro USB port down here. Of course, the device has a multi-touch screen. It's also equipped with a gyroscope, a magnetometer, accelerometer, and GPS. It's equipped with 802.11 B, G, and N Wi-Fi. It has an NFC chip in it, Bluetooth 4.0, and the micro USB down here is 2.0. Now this device only has a front-facing camera, and it's a 1.2 megapixel camera. And strangely enough, the device does not ship with a camera app. But there are a couple of ways around that. You can use Instagram, and there's actually a camera app that's the regular Android camera app that was ported to this device. So that's it for this video. I'm going to have a whole host of videos posted on this device on my channel, so stay tuned. You'll be able to access all of those videos by clicking on the link at the end of this video. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. And again, stay tuned to this channel because I'm actually going to pit this device against the Apple iPad 3. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.